Okay, welcome back. That didn't sound that good. It sounded good in my head, but it was not good out loud. Okay. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So Fashion Nova reached out wanting to do a collab and my uncreative ass couldn't think of anything and I was gonna have my guy friends pick out my outfits and as a shock to no one, no one replied to me. Pretends to be shocked. So I just picked out a bunch of stuff that I like from their website. There's no rhyme or reason to this. It's a true mix of things. So we'll hop right into it. So I just tried all these on and my favorite thing is this yellow sundress. Super cute mustard yellow. Yes, it needs to be steamed. No, I don't own a steamer, but that's what needs to happen. Ooh, it matches my headband. Um, super cute maxi length, but there's big slits, so it's really breathable, movable. Spin around in it, you're great. I really love a flutter sleeve. They're super flattering, nice and airy, so you're not constricted during the summer. Like, when it's hot out, you can catch a breeze in this. It's good. Um, nice V-cut neckline. Your boobs are gonna look amazing in this. Um, and then there's a little tassel belt here, button down the front, and these are real buttons, but they're so close together that I wasn't worried about anything happening down here, like no peeking by the crotch or anything. The only problem I was encountering was at this elastic waistband those buttons were gapping okay it's very obvious that like one of my biggest parts is right here so it's struggling it's pulling so i gotta like finesse that a little bit because ideally it'll lay flat but you can see how it's struggling so we'll figure something out like a big knot here or something you know but other than that super cute maybe adding my own belt on top of this or really tying that tassel belt like in a big clump right over those buttons. I think that would help. But I think this comes together really nicely. Like that didn't deter me from being like, okay, this is super cute. Like I'm gonna make that work, but I love the color of this, super summery. Our restrictions are kind of easing. You will not find me at a crowded place, but like maybe like to go out to like an outdoor winery or something, still staying away from people because your girl does not have health insurance. But after months of doing the absolute least, it'll be nice to like wear real clothes for once. Um, this one is in a size 2X. I will leave all my measurements down below. I've gained a little weight during quarantine, so I think most of these are in a 2X. Okay, next we have a romper, and um, rompers are notoriously bad on me, even though I'm currently wearing a Fashion Nova romper right now. But it's a skirt, so you don't see that ugly crotch. You got a little coverage, so. I like that in a romper. So I usually steer clear of rompers, but I saw this one and I was like, okay, let's just try it, see if it works. And it's a super cute palm pattern. Like this screams summer to me. The fabric on this one is a really stretchy jersey material. So once I got it out of the package, I was like, okay, this is gonna be pretty forgiving. And it was, like once I put this on, I was like, wow, I'm not getting that very obvious camel toe crotch situation. Plus it's a busy pattern, so you're really not gonna see like the outlines of your bits. But I felt like the bottom half was stretchy and loose enough that nothing weird was happening. Um, there's that very obvious like you can see the crotch thing, but then there's also that very obvious you can feel the crotch thing. And I wasn't feeling it or seeing it in this, so I like that. And then it has that fold over ruffle layer, super cute. I wore this one off the shoulder and it stayed pretty much where it needed to be. I can see myself hiking it up a little bit just cause like that's way more easier than having to worry about it staying like this all night. And like I said, this was super stretchy and actually really comfy. The only thing I would do is add a belt or something. Like there was definitely no separation from top to bottom. Like it did not accentuate my waist. Not that I really have a waist, I'm pretty cylindrical, but like I would like some definition between the top and the bottom. So I would probably add a belt just to break things up a little bit. But other than that, super cute, easy. Throw this on after a day at the pool. All right, switching lanes to loungewear. So it's pretty obvious that the official quarantine uniform is the tie-dye sweatsuit. And I have a bunch of tie-dye loungewear pieces and I was like, what's another one? Um, this came in a few colors. I went for the pink, but it did come in like a really cute baby blue. And now I'm regretting not getting the baby blue because I feel like I have a lot of pink but I love it. So this looks good, but I'm still like, should I get the blue one too? And I probably will. Sweatpants fit great, you know, a nice relaxed kind of fit. Like it doesn't fit like a legging, like there's room in there. Um, super elastic waistband. And the tie-dye pattern on this is like A plus. So, you know, basic sweatpants. And then we have the sweater top. Again, nice relaxed fit. It's definitely more of a, um, you know, like a long sleeve t-shirt kind of fit and feel 
as opposed to a sweatshirt. Um, like it's not super insulated. Um, I'm going camping next month, so I think this will be perfect for like nighttime. Like it's still a little cold, but you don't wanna be sweating because it's still gonna be July. So I think this is perfect for that. You probably can't hear the siren, but I can. Okay, the top is actually in a 1X and I felt like I had so much room. Like I said, nice relaxed fit. Plenty of room. So the bottoms I got in a 2X and then the top is in the one. Okay, another tie-dye sweatshirt and maybe I should just get the tie-dye blue pants to go with this one. I don't know, there's gonna be a lot going on. So this one is a gradient like purple and blue tie-dye. This is so cute and nice and vibrant. Um, this one has a tie at the bottom. I don't dig how those look, like I don't get the point. It doesn't like cinch or do anything. So it's just kind of there. Um, but if you're into that little tie up at the bottom, there you go. I loved how this looked. I loved how this fit. This one is in a size 2X. This one is also coming camping with me. Okay, next, I just got a little biker short set. I've been wearing biker shorts like it's my job. Super comfy. Um, so this one's pretty basic, just black with a nice little, you know, athletic stripe down the side. They had a few options of these. So you know your girl went for a hot pink. So the whole set is in a size 2X. You can definitely size down because they are so stretchy. So you know, the bottoms are pretty basic. They come to a really good place on my thigh. I like a longer short. I just get too much chub rub. So the less skin area and friction, the better. Um, so these are a really good length on me. And then we have the matching top. So little tank top, it's a crop top. It has the little tie at the bottom. That kind of tie I don't mind because it is like <laughs> you can't even see me. You know, it comes here, not here. Um, just to give you a little bit of shape there, my boobs are popping out. Okay. Um, so this one is also in a 2X, and this one I felt was actually big. So this comes in a set with the top and the bottom, so you can't really differentiate, like, oh, I need the 2X on the bottom, 1X on top. So I would recommend sizing down um, for both. Because the bottoms are so stretchy, I think it's just worth it to get a top that fits better. So I would size down. Um, has a stripe on the side too. So this looks like a sports bra, like, that's what I kind of was thinking it was. This is definitely a tank top, so you can definitely um, either just like free boob it or wear a bra underneath this because it is really loose. Again, it's that jersey fabric, so super stretchy. So it's not um, holding you in, it's not compression. Like this is not a bra top. So I just felt like this was a little big, but nothing crazy uncomfortable. I'd be playing with it all day, but you can definitely size down if you're gonna buy this. Okay, switching gears again, we're going back to dresses. This one has been in my cart for a thousand years. It comes in pink and blue. And then every time I'm like about to make an order, I'm like, oh, I'll get rid of this one and just get the other stuff. And you know what? This time it finally happened. So it is a bodycon dress with kind of the square cut neck and then really puffy sheer sleeves. I don't know what drew me in, but it kept drawing me in every time. So it has a base layer of like a nice little mob and then it has this over layer of polka dots. It's super cute and it has a ton of ruching over the stomach. So if there's anything you wanna kinda hide, that's where you like kinda place those bunches. Um, I look a little pregnant in this. I look a little pregnant in a lot of things. So if I were to wear this out, I would wear better underwear, but just for the try-on purposes, if you see me looking a little pregnant, it's just a food baby. I feel like this had a good length for being a mini dress. I didn't feel like my crotch was gonna, you know, make an appearance. There's gonna be no under butt. So I felt like for the purpose of this dress, it's just long enough. I feel like a lot of these are that square cut, but I just feel like I don't have a bra that really supports that look yet. I'm gonna need like a balconette or something. A lot of my bras, you know, work really well with v-necks and not square cuts, so I gotta you know, hunt down some bras. Um, this one is in a size 2X as well. Um, good amount of stretch, so if your size is sold out, you could probably size down. And I also love this color, like that dusty pink is so cute. This is another one that's been in my cart a few times and never really makes it to my house and I finally ended up getting it. So it is a red-ish or pink magenta, yeah? Um, tie-dye mini dress. So bodycon, but I didn't feel like it was like super like bleh, like bodycon kind of a thing. Do you know what I'm saying? I felt really good in this. After looking at it for a while on their website, I was shocked that this is velvet. It definitely adds that texture of looking kind of tie-dye. I also really like that the strap is pretty wide. I need to hide a bra under here. I cannot handle not wearing a bra. Like my boobs would just go in any direction they can think of. So 
I appreciate that I can wear a bra and it'll be nice and hidden by a thick strap. So yeah, the velvet was unexpected, but I like it. Again, for being a mini dress, it hit me at a really good spot where I didn't feel like I was like gonna flash my grandma or something. So I don't know where I think I'm going, but I have this dress now. This one's also pretty stretchy. I got this in a 1X, fits fine. The inside of the boob part does have that little shelf though, but I didn't feel like it was cutting me off. But then mid shelf, it has another seam. Um, I just felt like that was kind of weird, but um, doesn't cut you off or anything, but I just felt like that was kind of weird. I do think this will look really cute with a leather jacket. I say that as I'm sweating and I have a fan literally in my crotch, but this will be cool with a leather jacket. Okay, finally, um, I don't know, again, what possessed me to buy this. I think I thought it was a little bit more informal looking in the pictures, but this is a full-on, like, graduation dress that you would get at, like, Macy's or Lord & Taylor. Like, this is pretty high quality. So, I thought it was going to be, like, a nice little floral sundress, but, um, like I said, it's definitely higher quality than that. This is, like thick nice material it has lining in here um really nice cut of this so it's a high low dress it has a nice cascade towards the back it's not blunt or anything because this is so like what like actual fabric and not like t-shirt fabric as most dresses are these days um it is pretty form-fitting like the bodice of this dress truly hugged me and like gave me support maybe because it was so tight when i put this on i disregarded the zipper in the back and just like you know when it's tight and you gotta like squish your boob but once you get it past you're like like your boob reforms it was kind of like that and then i was like whoa because it was truly a bodice um and it was lifting my boobs up to the heavens um so that part was pretty tight i'm sure if i had just regularly gotten in this and zipped it, it would have been a little better but like again it's still really tight at that midsection slash boob section. Um, let me check the size on this. Yeah, you know why it's so tight? Because it's a 1X, but it also is a very structured dress. So you are gonna get a little bit more of a form in this dress. Um, it does have like the boob cups in here, but I was actually surprised that that cup, like that seam, went around my actual boob. So many times when something has a seam like that, it cuts your boob in half and then you have four boobs. Like this really nicely hugged the bottom of your boobs in a way that it actually gave you extra lift. So I don't have the price on this one, but I would assume it's a little bit more expensive because it looks like effort was made when they made this dress. I love the sweetheart neckline. Again, a thick strap so I can actually wear a real bra on here. Um, I did notice when I was doing the try on, I was like, I don't think I would even have to wear a bra because it's so tight. So whatever floats your boat. But again, I do have to mention this was pretty tight, but I did get a 1X thinking it was gonna be made out of t-shirt fabric. Um, so check your measurements against their website. I would size up to a 2X if you are my size, but the 1X did get on. Again, there's the argument of where do I think I'm going? But if you're a recent graduate, um, like a bride-to-be, if you're doing those like socially distant graduation kind of things, or if you're taking those nice pictures for your graduation announcements so people you've never talked to send you $50 for graduating, this is the dress. Okay, that is everything. Truly a weird mix of things. Like I got some active wear, I got some lounge wear, I got a freaking graduation dress. Like. I, I got it all. But if there's anything you'd like to see from me in the future, like I said, I am very uncreative. So if you want to see a bathing suit haul, lingerie haul, loungewear haul, like if you have like anything you really want to see, let me know. I got nothing going on. I'll do it. So all those links will be down below. My size will be down below. My links will be down below. It's all there. Um, I've noticed a lot of new faces since my last bathing suit haul. I wonder where those are from. Uh, but thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And like I said, if there's anything you want to see, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.